public up news from around the country. But we start tonight at Elm Park, where Reading from the second division were at home to Arsenal. George Graham's having a wonderful first season at Arsenal. His young side is top of the first division and unbeaten in their last 19 matches. Well, a crowd of just under 17,000 turned out today to see if Reading could end that run. Our commentator at Elm Park, Brian Moore. Well, in keeping with the rest of the country, it's a pretty frosty prospect here at Elm Park. The pitch very hard and potentially treacherous through the middle. And maybe Reading will be hoping that this could wrong foot a high-flying Arsenal side. At any rate, the Reading team has got Gary Westwood in goal. A deal with Queen's Park Rangers with Paul Barron has not progressed. The back four is inspired by the recent return of skipper Martin Hicks, who fractured a jaw in three places. The midfield will depend much on the industry and experience of Les Taylor, who was a cup final man with Watford. And then up front, the skill and battling qualities of Kevin Bremner and Trevor Senior, top scorer and reported target of a number of top clubs. Meanwhile, Arsenal there unchanged, John Lukic in goal, a back four that's among the meanest in the country where young Tony Adams is receiving so much excellent critical acclaim. In midfield, the chance once more to assess the rehabilitation of Steve Williams and the growing class of young David Rowcastle. And then up front, the six foot four Irishman Niall Quinn and Charlie Nicholas. And certainly for senior, top scorer with 14 this season, a real shop window opportunity for him. He's a great finisher. And now up against Tony Adams, the 20-year-old, and with David O'Leary forming one of the best central defences in the whole league. The referee is Jim Boritz of Norfolk. So it's Reading who get this cup tie underway in difficult circumstances here in the blue and white strip with Arsenal in their traditional red and white. Arsenal unbeaten in their last 19 with a real winning habit which is something Reading themselves know all about remember they had 13 straight wins last season a football league record but at the moment lying 18th in the second division they've been really hard hit by injuries they've got their side together again a little bit now and are hoping for the best on this difficult surface this is Gary Westwood their goalkeeper Wood beaten in the air by Quinn. Little Steve Richardson getting it away. O'Leary's header. This is Terry Herlock. Williams versus Sanson. And he's got past the England fullback. Seniors coming in on the far post. And uh, Reading were under doubts at all that they wanted to get the ball high towards Trevor Senior. There might well have been a foul on the keeper. And Williams did well to get past Kenny Sanson here and hoisted in a really good long cross to the far post. And a foul apparently on the keeper. Good turn there by Quinn. His turn trying to get Rowcastle away and that's a dangerous game for keepers to play. I think Westwood really had to do it then, but on this sort of pitch, it's pretty unpredictable. Bevan. a real cup tie competitor it applies every inch of the way to this young man O'Leary though with the free kick for the infringement by Bremner Osmond's throw making a bit of room for himself there's no time there for Davis and here's Herlock little touch now for Bremner that might fall for Bevan it does Williams change of direction for Bailey and a nice
ball played again by Herlock and then by Bevan. And here's Jerry Williams again testing this Arsenal defence, playing it wide, but Bailey had strayed offside. And they played some uh, nice, thoughtful football on a difficult pitch coming forward then. now with a chance to cross it in and a misfit shot there by Martin Hayes he's their top scorer with 14 but he had a splendid opportunity there seeing again certainly Williams has caused one or two problems to Kenny Sanson and to the Arsenal defence on that side of the field a perfect cross in flicked up in the air and there's Senior in off the post and in for the equaliser so suddenly it's a different picture so a matter of two minutes later Trevor Senior gets his 15th of the season and he'd scored only one in the last 11 games well he's a name that's been penciled in by a number of first division managers and he knows that what he does against Arsenal this afternoon 
could bear a great have a great bearing on his whole career well he's shown what he can do he really is as Ian Branford the Reading manager says he's probably the best finisher that he's ever worked with and here it is again towards Senior there's his header once more putting Arsenal under more pressure and Lukic is up Touched on by Quinn and played back by Wood. Free kick to Arsenal. So we'll take it. Hicks there with the header. O'Leary. Nicholas. Touch there towards Viv Anderson. Will he get there first? Good keeping by Westwood. Hicks who wins it in the air. Bevan's clearance. Adams, Quinn, now can Rowcastle make something of this, Bailey was in there, penalty given, that looked a bit tough to me, but the referee I have to say was right there and his finger went straight to the spot. And a penalty it must have been. The referee, 100% right. Never a question about it. And the referee was right on the spot. And if I had any doubts, I was wrong. And the referee, 100% right. And now Martin Hayes, who has scored with seven penalties this season of his 14 games, has not taken one that's more important than this. It's 2-1. First half for him and a good cross in there. And unfortunately for Reading, it caught Jerry Williams a little bit off balance. He fired in a totally unexpected cross there, did Bevan. Some good work in the first place by Les Taylor. And then Richardson plays his little part with the ball to Bevan, who's really made him safe available for just about everything this afternoon. And then having got to the byline, whips in a really low hard cross and Williams just a little bit off balance Sanson the last minute of the first half now flag up on the far side this time for a free kick for Reading
safety of the Reading crowd, providing the home side with a corner right on half time. Can Reading right on half time bring this back to 2 2? Martin Hicks again at the near post. Trevor Senior is swarming in that penalty area again. And it's Senior! And he's kicked off the line. That time by the big forward, Niall Quinn. Now Arsenal breaking out. Herlock. Rowcastle. Nicholas. went his way, Hayes' header is held at the second attempt by Westwood certainly was touch and go at the other end though and it was uh, a header by Trevor Senior which is deflected on the way and uh, it was kicked off the line by Quinn half time whistle and a really entertaining cup tie here with a few frights for Arsenal, even though they went ahead with Charlie Nicholas after 20 minutes. And then Trevor Senior, who's had this amazing scoring record, 113 goals in 163 games, a great strike record, hit a fine header to make it 1-1. Uh, and then the penalty from Martin Hayes after Rowcastle was brought down by Bailey, giving the first division leaders a 2-1 advantage at half-time. Arsenal get the second half underway. They now attack the goal to our left. Comforted by the knowledge that their defence has leaked only 15 goals all season. And they're leading here 2-1 in this potentially difficult cup tie against second division Reading. Also with the knowledge that they've had a senior header kicked off the line just before half-time. Which could so easily have brought it back to 2-2. And that will encourage Reading certainly were full of commitment in that first half as you might expect in a cup tie and if anything on the evidence of the first 45 minutes a little unlucky to be behind Hicks going forward for this throw from Richardson and just failed to get the header Williams miss kick getting it away Taylor playing it wide and Jerry Williams getting on this one he's not offside and he's played too firmly it just needed a little dink to cross in there but it was maybe the first wrong move that Jerry Williams has made all afternoon but certainly Arsenal leaving that side of their defence dreadfully exposed and uh, Williams might have got in there cross he's got it and now Taylor just wide of the goal but coming off a defender and a really effective break there again by Reading and a warning to Arsenal that this game is anything but over yet started in fact with a fine ball by Senior and a lovely cross in again and here comes the corner Jerry Williams with it Taylor, good ball, played wide again, there's time now for Williams to measure up across, Taylor again, keeping the pressure on, Bremner trying to get a turn in, and Arsenal under the cosh there for a moment or two, did well there and it's there by Charlie Nicholas a terrible mistake in the Reading defence they all waited for each other to react as the ball came in at the far post and one man who didn't wait was Charlie Nicholas to score his second and Arsenal's third well that was an absolute aberration there in the Reading defence and well as they say so frequently for mistakes like that when you're playing first division opposition you get punished for them. 
I think you get punished for this little mistake, mind you, in just about every decision, every division. They waited and allowed it to go all the way through to Nicholas. So Reading one, Arsenal three. Charlie Nicholas in the 52nd minute, his second goal of the game. Brantford, rather thoughtful there. Second from the left on the bench as we look at him. And his side really have been a credit to him and his coaching staff today, even though they're 3 1 down. Roe Castle. Quinn. And Hicks asserting himself. Not only that. Finds Jerry Williams. He had a storming game today. And what a lovely cross coming in again by him. Bremner trying to hook it back in. Well, no doubt in my mind who the man of the match for Reading is. Uh, certainly, Les Taylor's done a lot of work in the midfield. But Jerry Williams. Clearly, he's again outwitted Kenny Sanson. Not only that, it's a lovely cross coming in there. Reading and certainly they've got nothing to be ashamed about in their performance this afternoon it's been full of hustle and bustle with some moments of good skill and certainly one or two moments that threaten to unhinge and upset Arsenal and as we come to the last minutes now here's Les Taylor with a free kick for them floated again in there towards Hicks and Senior but the big men from Highbury get the header away again Taylor planting it in once more O'Leary and Senior just wide again. Showing his ability to snap up all sorts of half opportunities. And he was really annoyed with himself after the back header by O'Leary fell invitingly for him. He caught it on the volley. making that chase gets there first as well Stuart Bevan and tried to turn David O'Leary and Adams and just wasn't on but it was the long ball that almost turned out to be very effective and he's certainly done plenty of chasing as the final whistle goes as we see that again and Adams gets it back a real good hustling performance by Reading but the superior quality of Arsenal told in the end and the finishing of Charlie Nicholas. He got a hat-trick in this corresponding third round last season against Grimsby. He got two here today. He'd only got three in the uh, rest of this season. But the cup ties have come around and Charlie Nicholas and Arsenal have started to blossom. A final score then at Elm Park. It's Reading 1, Arsenal 3. So Arsenal's run goes on, unbeaten now in 20 matches, but Reading fought well and Trevor Senior, watched by so many top clubs, had good reason to be satisfied with his performance. Certainly he was delighted with his first goal in 12 matches. Well, I've scored one in the last game now, so I'll start again there. But uh, no, it was pleasing to score against Arsenal. Um, I was quite pleased how I played as well. Um, and I think all the lads did well. Uh, we worked hard, uh, difficult conditions, but uh, yeah, it was great to score against the best defence in the country at the moment. Steve Williams, the former Southampton player, is currently the driving force in the Arsenal midfield. And he looks a totally different player this season under new manager George Graham. Well, according to the media and that, yeah, I suppose that's true. But a different manager, different things. And he actually likes playing football, which is right down my street, really. And people are again saying that you're playing so well, you're back on the fringe of the England squad, possibly? Possibly, yeah. Possibly. You've just got to keep going. If we lose the next four games, they'll say the opposite, won't they? So you've just got to keep going. We're in the cup, that's the main thing. We're doing well in the league, you can ask.